Judas, one of my dogs, my arm ain't tall. What's good everyone? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, it's a girl missus and I'm back with another video. And I'm so excited to be filming this video today. I put up a poll on my Instagram story asking you guys what you want me to film next. And it was between the two options of either filming a full face using one brand or a quarantine house party get ready with me and the quarantine and house party get ready with me won the challenge so i just want to say thank you so much to the ones that actually voted even though it's obviously not going to be hundreds and definitely not thousands it actually really met my heart because it was like oh you guys care about me but without further ado let's get right into the get ready with me Um, as you can see, I have starting with a nice, clean, uh, bare face. I hope everyone is doing really, really well and keeping safe and keeping clean. Um, I've heard that this lockdown is now going to be extended, possibly until the 7th of May. So this is one of those situations that I'm so over this lockdown quarantine shenanigans. I can't even be bothered to complain about it anymore. Like, you know when you just get to that point where you're just like, oh, I don't need this. You know what? There's nothing that I can do about it. This is probably the first time I actually feel like I am living every day as it comes. Usually I pretty much plan my days, my weeks, my weekends, but you can't do this in a situation. So this is nothing that we can do about it besides just living the moment, keeping safe. So the primer I just used, reasons why I'm looking hella greasy like KFC Kentucky chicken. I use the Revolution Glass Primer. So House Party, who's actually on House Party? So if you don't know about House Party, it's pretty much like a virtual communication app and you could pretty much be in a party or group um, FaceTiming up to six to eight people in one party and um, people can randomly add you if they've got mutual friends people can actually jump in and out of your parties as well even though if you don't know them from Adam so I always make sure that my room is locked and you can actually play games so I actually really enjoy it because it's a good way to interact with loved ones especially when you can't see them physically so if you guys are not on it jump on it. it just sounded like I was doing a sponsor right now hey so this is where I'm gonna try and get my skin looking flawless because when you are, you know, on house party, your skin's gonna look on point because there ain't no filter. So, speaking about filter, I'm using the Huda Beauty, and I actually think it's the full filter. Yeah, full filter, high coverage foundation. This is in the shade Nutmeg. Oh yeah, I forgot, this one's done. <laughs> Where's my sponge? Um, hello, hello, hello. I want to look flawless, seamless, blended. Right, so concealer. Listen, this concealer has been giving me life, okay? I don't know what it is about this concealer. So this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer, and it's the shade 390. When I apply this on my face here, it does look very, very golden, rich, rich golden so i'm actually going to cream contour today because you know we have to go all out this is a house party we need to be looking glam we need to be looking snatched you never know who wants to be jumping in our party so i'm going to be doing some cream contour and i'm using the revolution fast base foundation stick in the shade f18 which is the darkest shade chisel that chin because when you're going to be hitting them angles with your phone on house party you want to have a snatched chin you know Concealer over my eyelids as well because I'm not applying no eyeshadow. Like, I'm sorry, sis. Who's got time to be applying eyeshadow on house party? Like, no one's not gonna be up in your grill and rating your eyeshadow and seeing what color you're gonna increase and whatnot. Like, like, no one's not really gonna be pre in that. Right, now I'm gonna get like a little short stippling brush. And I actually like using these for blending up my cream contour at first when i'm blending out my cream contour i'm like oh my god what on earth that like, oh my god what on earth like why is it get the rest of the remaining on that brush and just slightly the nose so that is the base pretty much blended out and guys i'm telling you with that glass primer listen let me just bring it let me just bring you a little bit closer sis okay see what i mean with that glass primer like this foundation is I'm pretty sure it's like a 
natural demi matte foundation it's definitely not dewy and you can still see that radiance glow concealer is also mattifying as well and we're gonna set the face so i am going to use my beautiful beauty my beautiful beauty bakery setting powder in the shade plantain yes i say plantain i don't say plantain okay if you say plantain cool i say plantain and this is the shade here now we don't need to do too much this okay if you want to bake that's fine me i'm not really a baking gal i like to just get my damp sponge literally press it in bada beam bada boom it's gone hit the smile lines okay i have to hit the smile line because when you're in house house party and you're ki ki kya 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 you don't want your foundation and your face to be creasing sis like you know just do a little bit on the I said a little bit, you know. What is that? Me, personally, I have to just go a little bit extra around the lids because I do have very fine creases on my eyelids and, you know, foundation, concealer tends to crease in that area, so I have to set a little bit extra. Now you can see that it's a more mattifying, obviously minus the areas where I applied my contour, but it's just, oh, so nice. Now, if you wanna do the extra step, and you wanna, you know, chisel it out, add a little bit of definition, you can do so. I don't like to bake this area because I don't like that harsh line. So I literally just, if I can draw a straight line up here, literally just apply it, dab it in, that's it. Not too long, okay. So now we're gonna set the cream contour. What am I gonna set it with? Excuse me. Gonna be setting it. My recent fave, the Revolution Pro Sculpting Bronzer in the shade N Robe. Set it like so, just feather, feather. Just flick it to feather it upwards, upwards. They say upwards. Am I just too excited? Are you guys excited? Are you guys excited? Because we're gonna be in house party. No, we're not. Go over my nose a little bit, pinch that brush, and then we go over the sponge because. I like let me tell you something here when it comes to this contouring and a lot of women especially like dark-skinned women and dark-skinned men when they contour the nose I can't do this skinny line of like highlight in the center of my nose and you could probably see the contour I can't do that like and just go over a sponge me can't do them and then ha mm, no I can't do it sorry now I'm just gonna set over my face I don't feel like I need to do too much setting, to be fair, but I'm just gonna lightly brush over my face. I'm just gonna use this CC Perfecting Powder from Revolution Pro in the shade Deep, which looks like this. Get my fluffy brush, and I'm literally just gonna do the lightest. <laughs> I don't think there was any point of me doing this, but hey ho, I'm just gonna do. To take this step up a not scent. I don't know who I think I am, but this product I can't let go. I'm so sorry, I cannot let go of it. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish in the shade Dark Number no. Three. Honestly, guys, this is probably the best thing I've ever used in 2020 in all my life when it comes to makeup. It is so stunning. And this brush I use is the Morphe M501 brush and literally just pull it under your eyes even for my dry people oh, it's just looks like this and then pull it under the eye like so and honestly like do you see the softness the softness uh, and then with this brush as well it literally just blends and glides and see that under here that's fine but here Listen, beautiful, and especially when you're in a house party or FaceTime or whatever the case may be, and it just literally gives you a filter. It's like filter on your face in an instant. Not heavy, not dry, just flawless, sets your makeup. Typical step for me, you don't need to do this, but for me personally, I have to set my face at least twice until I'm secure. Glass Glow Fix Ultimate Glow Dewy Fixing Spray. So, while my face is kind of semi-wet, 
I'm gonna apply highlighter now my skin is not really the best as of recent I don't know why but I've just been breaking out quite a lot which is not really like me and whenever my skin looks quite texturized I don't personally like to add powder highlighters because I feel like it emphasizes my spots and because I'm trying to create my skin looking full filtered out here for the insta for the gram for the house party insta for the gram instagram you know i don't want to draw too much attention to my problematic skin i, I do want to glow because you know when i'm hitting from a certain light i want to glow so i'm just going to use the nyx born to glow liquid illuminator and this is in the shade sun goddess So I'm gonna add some blush because I feel like I haven't been wearing blush recently. And I'm a blush type of gal with my favorite go-to blush, which you've seen so many times on my channel if you're a returning subscriber. And this is the Ellie Girl Just Blushing and this is in the shade Just For Fun. And it's quite like a bright retro orange, but honestly, when you just add a little amount, like so. Oh my God, I say little, like. <laughs> And a little, I literally went tap, tap, tap. I'm not even gonna go back in the pan again. Just, oh my God, do you see? You guys know I can't do this next step on camera. I'm actually going to apply some lashes. Just some nice, flirty, fluttery lashes. Obviously you can wear mascara, but I just feel like lashes on camera just gives you that more bold look. I will be back with you guys very shortly. So just to add a little bit of nice soft touches to the face, I'm gonna add a little bit of highlighter in my inner corner and also my under brow or my brow bone, should I say. And I'm using the Becca Champagne Pop. Okay, so I'm gonna add back my mole. Even though my mole is actually quite predominant, I'm still gonna add it back anyway. Lipstick, do whatever you want. You wanna go bold, you wanna be a bit saucy, you wanna be a bit sassy, you want red, you want burgundy, you want purple, you want black. Do your thing. Me personally, my go-to lip combo, like regardless, is a new glossy lip. Like, and I just think that when you're on FaceTime and you're just like so, and then all the light is hitting you correctly, and then you see some nice glossy lip. It's about that life. So dark brown lip nana is the shade chestnut from MAC. This is literally my favorite nude. That is a perfect nude for brown dark skin. Like right? the Milani shade. 69 matte beauty it's gonna go over it with some uh, random lip gloss this is gonna be the revolution pout bomb lip gloss in the shade kiss which is quite pinky i've always loved for big lips this is obviously way before lip thinners was even about okay but i pretty much have my mum's lips and i've got a bigger bottom lip and like some marga skinny top lip i'm just like really mom so how are you gonna be doing me now Really? You lot see that colour? Mm-mm. Listen. Hey. We're gonna set this face again. Go set the face, girl. It's gonna be a house party in a house party. I'm telling you that for free. Pretty much like my go-to, not every day, because I don't wear makeup every day, but my go-to everyday glam with the lashes. You know, when I want that nice sun-kissed bronze skin, a little hint of glow from within, a glossy lip, some flirty lashes, and I'm good to go. So that is pretty much how I would do my makeup if I was doing house parties, so you know. Once again, I just wanna thank everyone that participated in my poll on Instagram, so make sure you do follow me on Instagram if you don't. Make sure you do subscribe on your way out before you leave. Put your post notifications on, make sure it's on all, so you will always be notified whenever I upload more videos on the channel. Thank you to everyone that stays tuned, comments and like my videos because that really helps. You guys let me know what you think about the glances. Let me know how you feel about it, what you think, give me your thoughts and opinions, be nice, be kind. And I really hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.